A long night last night. Yeah, we had a good night last night. Well, we so were celebrating. We're, we're filming with Playboy. We're like, yo, let's go out and get f up. No, no, no. <laughs> you do that f after. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Arjun and Knuckle Badmash in downtown LA. Yeah. Let's talk Canadian Indian fusion cuisine. We're talking us right now. We're born and raised in Toronto, Shout also out known the as six. the Six. Uh, Don't call it that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we grew up eating poutines. So we're like, yo, we need a poutine at the restaurant we own and we are at every single day because I want to eat it every single day. But because we're doing it at Badmash, we've added a little Indian kick. Just a kick. This yeah. should be on the flag instead of the maple leaf of a fucking <laughs> pile of poutine. The funny thing is, is this could probably be on the flag of India as well because we're making tandoori chicken, which is gonna go on top. And this is a very traditional, boneless preparation of a chicken tikka. So we're gonna start with the marinade for your chicken thighs. Exactly. Yogurt, nicely whisked down so it's smooth. We've got a little bit of red chili. This is gonna add a little bit of that heat. We've got some Indian rock salt. It's basically a Himalayan black salt. And here we're gonna go with some dry fenugreek, coriander. And paprika's gonna add that nice reddish golden mm -hmm. color. Now we have serrano chilies. Okay. And I don't know about you guys, but we love a good amount of garlic and lemon juice. The acids, the salt, the spices, they're all gonna work on the chicken. The yogurt and the oils are gonna allow uh, the flavors to stick to the chicken. And here, this is actually mustard oil. It's this beautiful, nutty, mustardy flavor. Well, if you're balding, it's also really good for your hair. <laughs> Did he not heed your Fun warning fact. on that one? No, he put it in his chicken instead. Of it. And that's it, you just basically want it to look like one color, there are no clumps of spices. So why are you using chicken thighs instead of chicken breast? We prefer uh, chicken thighs or dark chicken because it's got a great amount of fat. Mm -hmm. uh, the way the muscles are, they break down a little bit easier. When you guys are cooking at a high heat like you're going to, it's so much more forgiving than breast meat. Exactly. You can overcook and dry out breast meat very quickly. Because we're doing this in a tandoor on a live flame, this is the meat that we would recommend. We're gonna just gently massage each piece. Make sure you get that marinade into all of the grooves. We're gonna set this aside for 48 hours. Okay. And we'll come back to it. This has cool. been marinating for that 48 hours. Yes. Let's, uh, let's get it on a skewer yeah. and see how we cook this thing. Of course. If I don't have a tandoor at home, what is the best preparation for this? Would you want to grill this, like super hot grilling, or? I would say a barbecue grill. Okay. Yeah, the trick is to, to have something of really high heat. Yeah. You're searing the outside, getting the juices in. You get a nice, crusty, almost black char. That yogurt's gonna cook really quickly, and that's really what you're looking for. As you can see, they're beautiful and juicy on the inside. Yeah. And we're gonna add a little Indian Ooh. to the Canadian. Ooh, we have little a little kick as we spoke about. And it's pretty much paprika, cayenne, a little bit of that black salt that we're using from India and a bunch of other spices. But the wrist game is on point, I oh, see perfect. that. Because you want to collect You're good the at this, man. On the side. Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? You're hired. Yeah, look no at that. look. So Beautiful. that's perfect. You've got the spice over here, you can see it. And now we're ready to plate. Always want to use a shallow dish yeah. for poutine because you want to set that base of fries. The next step is you want to get your cheese Let's curds. Let's talk cheese curds for a second. Sure. What are cheese curds? Squeaky, not so flavorful, but creamy. It's like a fat man's potato chip. <laughs> they're not going to really melt from the heat of the gravy, but they're going to get a little bit soft. You, know, you have enough gravy to cover every curd and get some of the fries. And you've got crunchy fries, you've got soggy fries closer to the bottom where the gravy's gonna pool together. Yeah. You've got that cheese, it's softening now. And now we're just gonna put chicken right on top. There's nothing that fits better right on the top than a little fresh chopped cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Do what we do. I'm just gonna go right in the center a little bit of fries, a little bit of gravy, a little bit of cheese, and obviously a little bit of chicken. After you. Get into that. I know I'm not supposed to talk with my mouth full, but 
but you're doing this it. This is a type of food that, you know, no manners, just get out of my way, let me eat. When Arjun and I would hit the clubs, uh, when we were a lot younger. Back in Toronto. Back in Toronto. Back in the six. Back six. in the six. We would get hella drunk, and then after hours, go to a poutine spot. Poutine isn't health food. It's pretty heavy, but what actually is great about the chicken is that the spice that you get in the chicken mm -hmm. and uh, the marinade that comes through, that just that touch of sour from the marinade, mm -hmm. it actually lifts up the poutine really well. Thank you. Thank you, man, I appreciate that. It's food when you're already drunk or you're covering from the night before. Or you're gonna get drunk later, man. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs>